कि हम 10 घंटे से अभी इंतजार कर रहे हैं इस बॉर्डर पे लेकिन हमें कोई नहीं निकाला है कोई कोई ऑफिशियल कोई भी ऑफिशियल हमसे कॉन्टेक्ट नहीं किया कितना संभाले ये तीन दिन से हमने चल रहे हैं और हम स्टक है बंकर में फ्रॉम पास्ट थ्री डेज वी कॉन्ट इवन मूव हमारे यहाँ पे फूड नहीं है पानी नहीं है ना ही हम घर वालों से कॉन्टेक्ट कर पा रहे काफी डर का माहौल है यहाँ पे और हम लोग मेंटली एंड फिजिकली बहुत कंडीशन में है यू कैन सी और सिचुएशन यू कैन लुक एट इट इससे अच्छा तो साला मर जाते हैं हम लोग ऑन ट्वेंटी फोर्थ फेबर पुटिन अनाउंस अ स्पेशल मिलिटरी ऑपरेशन इन ईस्टर्न यूक्रेन मिनट्स लेटर मिसल्स बिगैन टू हिट लोकेशन अक्रॉस यूक्रेन इंक्लूडिंग द कैपिटल कीव We are not deploying our missiles over at the borders of the US. No. On the other hand, the US is deploying its missiles close to our home on there on the porch of our house. So, are we demanding something excessive? We're simply asking them not to deploy their attack systems over at our home. What is so unusual or peculiar about that? So, what would the Americans think if we, for example, decided to come to the border between say Canada and the United States or Mexico and simply deploy our missiles over there people are leaving kiev and other parts of ukraine to the western part of the country or even leaving the country entirely people who remained in the war hit zones are taking shelter in hostel bunkers subway stations and other places that are comparatively safer Thousands of Indian students fly overseas for education every year. Ukraine offers an affordable medical education and the degrees earned are recognized across the world including the World Health Organization, European Council and other global bodies. Around 18,000 Indian students also study in Ukraine. Thousands of them have been brought back to the country from the crisis hit region, but many are still stuck. Ukraine has banned its airspace for civilian flights for security reasons. Students are struggling to cross borders and come back to their respective countries. A fourth-year medical student of Indian origin, Navin Shekharappa, lost his life in a shelling in Kharkiv. There has been a huge hue and cry in India after the young man lost his life. that the prime minister is with you every step several indian ministers went to neighboring countries to showcase the rescue of these students indians are with you every step of the way in spite of this outreach many indian students were beaten black and blue with metal rods on the polish border by the ukrainian guards but it's still not clear why the polish did not help these students even though their mission in india has been tweeting of their help for the students Most Americans and Britishers exited Ukraine many weeks ago because their governments gave them tangible orders that everybody must leave. Any American in Ukraine should leave as soon as possible. But these Indian students stuck on because these Ukrainian schools said if you leave now you will not get your degrees and that is not a possibility for these students as they have invested hundreds and thousands of dollars. But you have to remember that these students are like an insurance for Ukraine. If these students stay on the ground and continue getting killed, India will push back against Russia asking them to stop operations so that these students can exit. But until these students continue to be in there, Ukraine will have a certain level of protection. Shivani Singh, Democracy News Live, New Delhi. The world looks on as a bloodbath takes place in Ukraine. Let's take you through a little background as we get into the story of the Indian students and their evacuation. Ukraine has not been in the news for the first time in the last decade. It was in 2014 that both Russia and Ukraine had disagreements about how free Ukraine is to take decisions about its security and relationships with NATO. The primary reason this war is happening is because Russia believes that NATO is pushing in too close to Russia. This is the reason that Russia has decided to show the Ukrainians that they cannot let NATO enter the region. You have to remember 
that NATO has been militarily funding the Ukrainians in the last few years. The funding has crossed a billion dollars. All former Soviet countries continue to stand against Moscow and are aligned with the West. Countries like India and China are fence setters. India can appeal for less violence and calm, but India and Russia have close military ties. India just recently had bought many advanced anti-missile systems from them. China has already been under pressure from the West. And no way is it going to entirely ditch its neighbor Russia. The fact that India has not played along with the West is not going to go well for the Indo-US relationship. But India has one other major issue. About 18,000 Indian students were studying in Ukraine. These are young 20-year-olds. There was no way India would put their life at risk. But the orders came too slow and a bit too late. The evacuation of these students should have started when the airport in the country was open. At that time, there weren't enough flights and they were very expensive. Today, we have with us three young Indian students uh, from Uzhorod National Medical University, Ukraine, Utkarsh Kumar Varma, Yuvraj Mishra and Aman Kumar Sharma. They all three joined me today. They returned from uh, Ukraine on the 26th. Um, they came back safely, just on the edge. Uh, let me start with you, Aman. Uh, tell me, in terms of, you know, how was your exit? When did you come to know that you have to leave and how did you leave? Give me a little sense of that. Uh, actually, we didn't knew what flight we were going to board on and uh, when we are going to board on. We have no clue. We didn't had any clue about it. But we had so much information from the government ki se and our hostels, the local guardians, उसकी तरफ से ऐसा इंफॉर्मेशन आई थी हमें कि हमें uh, 26 से टू डेज पहले राइट लाइक like 23 और 24 को लीव करना पड़ सकता है बट किसी रीजन की वजह से वो इवैक्यूएशन सस्पेंड हो गया था कुछ मतलब लिस्ट नहीं आई थी या आई डोंट नो प्रॉपर रीजन क्या था बट इतना था कि दो दिन के लिए सस्पेंड हो गया था हमारा इवैक्यूएशन तो द फाइनल इवैक्यूएशन टू टू प्लेस ऑन ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ Uh, and on that day हमें हमने, हमने अपनी पैकिंग वगैरह की मॉर्निंग में हम लोग को निकलना हुआ था लाइक अराउंड सेवन टू एट ए एम बसेज आई थी बसेज में हम लोग ने अपने लिस्ट के अकॉर्डिंग बस नंबर डिसाइडेड थे उसमें हम लोग को बैठाया गया ये एयर इंडिया की फ्लाइट थी ठीक है एयर इंडिया की फ्लाइट और ये फ्लाइट जो थी इसके लिए डिड यू हैव टू पे फॉर दीज फ्लाइट नो वी डेंट है ओके, बट थोड़े समय पहले जब फ्लाइट जब हम सुन रहे थे लोग बोल रहे थे कि दैट द पीपल हैड टू पे अ लॉट ऑफ मनी फॉर दोस फ्लाइट्स व्हेन दे वर नॉट इवैक्यूएशन फ्लाइट्स इज दैट ट्रू या फ्लाइट्स के प्राइसेस काफी हाई चले गए थे लाइक जो फ्लाइट्स एक दो हफ्ते बाद की थी ट्वेंटी थ्री थाउजेंड में वो एक, एक रात में ही सेवेंटी थाउजेंड एटी थाउजेंड टच कर लेंगे इज दैट वाई अ लॉर्ड ऑफ चिल्ड्रन डेंट लीव दिस कैन बी द रीजन एंड ऑल्सो मेरा रीजन पर्सनल रीजन क्या था मैंने अपनी टिकट इसलिए नहीं कराई क्योंकि मेरी जो टी आर सी होती है पोस्ट बिटका कहते हैं हम उसे वो नहीं आई थी अभी जो हमारी टेम्परि रेजिडेंट सर्टिफिकेट होता है दैट वॉज ऑन पेंडिंग सो उत्कर्ष लम्मी नाउ गो टू यू एन एस्क यू explain to me to a lot of people who are not when they're looking at this is what is the reason that a lot of the indian students are stuck there the americans seem to have left the british seem to have left ukraine but the indian students are still stuck there what's the cause actually iske piche na main reason ye tha ki jab bhi embassy se hame koi bhi matlab bheja gaya tha kuch bhi clear kabhi mention kiya hi nahi gaya tha हमेशा ये बताया जाता था कि अगर आपका काम वहाँ पे इम्पोर्टेंट नहीं है देन यू कैन लीव बट हमारे क्लासेस ऑफलाइन चलते थे तो हमें ये लगता था कि हमारे तो इम्पोर्टेंट है सो so हम कैसे लीव कर सकते हैं इवन हमने अपने यूनिवर्सिटी से भी कंसर्न किया कि सर हमारी क्लासेस क्या ऑनलाइन होंगे ये जो वार का सिचुएशन है हमें क्या करना चाहिए दे नेवर क्लियर इट दैट वट एन और हमें क्या करना है आगे बट जब सडनली ट्वेंटी को ऐसा हमें सुनने को मिला कि ऐसा कुछ हुआ Then suddenly, ऐसा है कि 
आपको इवेक्यूएट करना पड़ेगा या आपको हमें निकलना पड़ेगा तो उसके बावजूद भी एक दिन का समय लगा 24 एंड इवन 25 को भी कुछ क्लियर नहीं था सडनली 25 की नाइट को हमें ये बताया गया कि आपको निकलना पड़ेगा और हमारे हॉस्टल में चार्ट बनाया गया एंड उस, उस बेसिस पे हमें वहाँ से फिर निकाला गया um you are one of the lucky few students who were able to get out you know, there are a lot of students who are still stuck there who are making their way how come they weren't able to get on the flight explain to me how some were able to leave and some are still stuck uh, as my friend is in odisha medical college uh, he didn't know how to get out from that area he he contact with me that uh, how can i then i told him that uh, Uh, do one thing you just come to us growth and then i can help you because in uh, we are live in western borders so uh, in that reason um, embassy doing their work very properly but in central region or in west uh, eastern region they they are not doing as much as they can mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know uh, yuvraj let me bring you in here there are a lot of you know uh, divergent voices obviously we've seen many of the indian ministers who've gone to neighboring countries who are trying to evacuate obviously they're doing all the pr around it then there are some students like such as yourselves who left as well but then there are many other students who are saying we are stuck we are not being able to get out when they go to the borders they are being beaten black and blue with rods ukrainians are not letting them get out when they go to train stations people are not letting them climb trains when you see that imagery you understand it on the ground explain to me what's happening there is there a reason that the ukrainians don't want the indian students to leave well i can assure you one thing that uh, people who have left are really left uh, after the unsc meeting uh, uh, as india has uh, not voted against uh, russia so uh, th- that can be a thing or uh, ukrainians uh, can be taking indians as a guarantee uh that uh, if Indi- indian students are there then indian government may uh, put some pressure on uh, the russian government to not uh, openly attack ukraine it's true uh, you know and and you make a very very good point you raj there uh if the indian students are there they're almost like a guarantee they're almost like a security yeah. cover because the loss of two students so far india's you know there are two indian students who've been killed those two students have created enough of a furor in india and people are angry and people are putting pressure on the government of india here that what are you doing why aren't you bringing the students out and that can actually become a layer of protection for ukraine and this is something that has to be recognized that russia who is now on india's side at some level is going to be you know looking at this and saying how do the indian students need to be evacuated out of there how do these indian students leave uh, and exit the borders kirsh let me come to you and ask you what do you think was done right and what do you think was not done right when it comes to you know getting you guys out or your other friends were still stuck there actually sir unhe to pehle jo बॉर्डर एरिया में उन, उनके लिए उन्होंने बहुत अच्छा काम किया है बट जैसे कीव में या खारकीव में जो बच्चे फंसे हुए हैं उनके लिए मुझे लगता है कि इन्हें और कोई अच्छे से प्लानिंग करना पड़ेगा बिकॉज उधर के बच्चे कनेक्ट ही नहीं कर पा रहे उनके पास कोई ऑप्शन ही नहीं है इवन एम्बेसी उन्हें सिर्फ यही नोटिस दे रही है कि हम आपसे कनेक्ट करेंगे दो दिन में तीन दिन में बट वो दो तीन दिन इन बच्चों के लिए मतलब बहुत बड़ा पहाड़ जैसा है वो इतने दिन अपने आप को सर्वाइव करना ही वो अपने आप एक चैलेंजिंग है so i think jitna jaldi ho sake embassy unse connect kare wo zyada better hai aman what do you think what can the government of india do who do you think they can reach out to to get these other children out um uh, in my point of view government of india have done much better like unhe जो उन्होंने किया सही किया कि पहले जो वेस्टर्न बॉर्डर बॉर्डर पे थे उन्हें इवैक्यूएट किया ताकि जो पीछे से बच्चे आए उनको वहां पे रख सके सो दैट वाज अ गुड प्लान बट स्टिल दे नीड टू डू मोर एफर्ट्स टू ब्रिंग स्टूडेंट्स दैट आर स्टक इन खारकेव कीव एंड ऑल दैट ओडेसा टू सो 
अभी जैसे न्यूज आई एयरक्राफ्ट कैरियर गया है जी सेवेंटीन एंड सो ग्लोब मास्टर गया है तो हाँ इट्स अ साइन ऑफ रिलीफ फॉर स्टूडेंट आर स्टक देयर एट देयर एयरपोर्ट्स एंड ऑल बट स्टिल सम मोर एफर्ट्स आर नीडेड या एंड देन वेयर विल द सी सेवेंटीन लैंड हाउ विल द स्टूडेंट्स गेट टू इट दे मे लैंड इन एयरपोर्ट इन पोलैंड और दे मे लैंड इन एनी अदर नेबरिंग कंट्रीज बट दे नॉट गोन बी एबल टू लैंड इन साइड यूक्रेन कैन दे exactly exactly they need to create some path for the students that are stuck there in the bunkers and bomb shelters to come to those borders so that they can be evacuated and uh, can be bring back to india absolutely i think what india will have to do is it will have to communicate directly with russia now because russia seems to be more in control or whoever is in control these indian students need to be extracted as soon as possible resources have to be put in on the ground to get the students who are stuck inside back to the borders wherever they can go to airports and exit i know there are countries like poland who are making efforts there are other countries who are you know putting out uh, uh, romania's get opening borders but their transition out of you know these places which are stuck right now where, where there is a little bit of a battle ongoing there is going to be a challenge and these young students from india should not become pawns of this whole war they cannot be stuck in the crosshair thanks for watching thanks for watching democracy news dive